come back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do image classification using media pipe for native android app so media pipe is kind of like a machine learning framework from uh, google themselves so let's see how to do that so here is i am on the, uh, so i am on the uh, technical documentation for media pipe for android firstly i will show you the output so here i have one uh, button called pick image if i click on pick image uh, it opens my uh, image picker and if i select one of the image like cup it is able to classify okay so this is a cup so that's what we will be doing uh, if you want to uh, like follow the documentation you can follow it firstly we will have to download uh, the tensorflow model for this and currently what i have noticed is that if you see the documentation uh, they have uh, given you uh, where is it so <coughs> here you can see uh, they have given this model section from where you can uh, download the model uh, from but from what I have observed is that I think they have linked the long wrong URL maybe in future by the time you watch this might get fixed but to download the you can uh, try it from this link first if uh, and uh, do the entire uh, code which I am going to show you if it is not working for you then you can download this uh, tensorflow light model from this link uh, so yeah once uh, you have downloaded that model just create your android project then you will have to do right click new uh, folder create assets folder i have already created it and inside the assets you can drag and drop your model also make sure <coughs> your model name uh, whatever is your model name you refer this refer that same name in the code as well so let's see uh, firstly inside build.gradle.kts you will have to import this uh, com.google-media-pipe task vision and i know the version number is pretty off what you can do is that uh, to get the current version number uh, whenever you are watching it you can just make it 0.0.0, .0 and android studio will tell you okay uh, this is not the latest version the latest version is this so just change it to that and just click on sync now so here we have the media pipe task vision dependency next uh, inside uh, activity underscore main i have just taken a text view as well as a button so just to show you i have text view as well as a button and next if you go to main activity i have uh, in created variable for our text view and button then we have to uh, create our base options as well and inside the base options i have uh, send our uh, model path uh, inside from our assets folder so make sure you what whatever is your model name uh, you enter the same model name over here as well so be careful with this next we have set the delegate as cpu uh, i i'm not sure when to use gpu <laughs> i'm not i don't even know if gpu is available in all, all android devices or not so that's why i have kept it as cpu and here you can build your image classifier so the score threshold i have set it to 0 0.5 so i need minimum 0 0.5 as a score threshold if you want to keep it low you can keep it i think it is one 0 0.02 1 1.0 f and max results i have only set it to one and we are applying this for an image so i have set the running mode as running mode dot image then i have set the base options as well then using that options builder i am creating uh, our options okay and i have created one variable for image classifier as well now i will just sorry, uh, close this for now here we are initializing our image classifier because it requires uh, access to our context as well and uh, next uh, we are uh, also initializing our text view and button if you want you can uh, like move all this entire code on a background thread as well if you want to next uh, here uh, on button click i am just calling this get content dot launch array of uh, images slash star so this will pick a, uh, so this will open image picker and here you can see i'm just calling open document once the user has picked an image and we get a uri <coughs> then i call uh, with context uh, dispatchers.io and here firstly uh, from that uri we, we need to generate uh, bitmap so if you are using above android p this is the code for generating bitmap and below this is the code now we have to copy that bitmap and convert this to this format because this is the only format which the image classification takes so we are converting that 
then from that bitmap we are converting this mp image which is required by this image classification thing so we are just calling classifier on our image classifier and we are passing this mp image and from that we get a classification result so if you see i have moved all this code on a background coroutine like on an io coroutine and once i get the data then i am just getting a classification result uh, and calling classification then i am checking if it is not empty then i am getting the first entry of of from it as categories and if that is not empty then we will uh, get category name as well as display name uh, currently one of them is missing uh, for my demo but you can figure that out which is missing and if in other cases i'm just saying no data okay so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye